Hey guys, Drew here, and recently I released a new course on HTML email development. I want to thank all of you who have signed up for the course already, and the purpose of this video is to add a coupon link in the video description which I'll keep up to date with the latest coupon for the course should anyone want to sign up after the original coupons have expired. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments, and for the remainder of this video, I'll play the course promotion and introduction videos. Hey guys, Drew here, and building responsive HTML email templates can seem pretty tough. The Insight template that you see right here can be built in just a few hours when building a web page. But with responsive HTML emails, we need to layer tables and use conditional statements to make sure that our emails render properly across different devices and email clients. So if we want our HTML emails to look the same in Outlook as they do on our iPad, we'll need to do a lot of testing across mobile, desktop, and web email clients. This is why services like Litmus and Email on Acid which allow you to preview your emails in different email clients can charge $100 a month. And because of this obscurity around email development, it's not uncommon for freelancers to charge into the thousands for template layouts or to earn a six-figure salary as an email developer. In website development, we have the W3C standard for code validation and best practices. But there's no such validation service for HTML email development, so all we can rely on are the email client preview testing services. And that's why when I decided to build this HTML email mastery course, I made the decision to test our course project live while we develop our responsive, dark mode friendly email template. That way you can be certain that our course project, in addition to the nine bonus email templates and email signature, have been tested on all 82 email client renderings offered through the email client preview testing service. So I'm excited to get you introduced to the course template project, all of the course bonuses, and to share all of my knowledge on HTML email development. Welcome to the course. In this video, we'll get an introduction to the course, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself as the instructor. So what will we learn in the course? You'll learn how to build mobile-friendly, responsive HTML email templates. We'll be testing our course project live to make sure that our HTML emails render properly across 80 plus email clients. We'll design for both light and dark mode email clients. And we'll also learn about pre-header text, ghost tables, GIFs, video and email, email accessibility, and more. Next, what's included in the course? The HTML email course is comprised of 33 video lessons and each one of the coding lessons includes a progress file so you can check your work or pick up where you left off with the completed code up to that point of the course. You'll also receive the completed project template in addition to nine bonus HTML email templates and email signature, which are all dark mode and mobile friendly. You'll also receive the local files and hosted HTML email picture links for all of the pictures used in the email templates, as well as the social media icon packs. And you'll receive the downloadable test results for all 10 email templates and email signature for the 80 plus email clients they were tested on. So what skills are required to take the course? While HTML and CSS knowledge is helpful, it's not required to take the course. And the same goes for using a text editor, which you'll get a lesson on in the course, in addition to HTML tables and HTML email coding experience, which we'll get extensive knowledge on in the course. Now for a little bit of info on myself as your instructor. I've been teaching website development online for seven years, which includes about four years of HTML email development. My video lessons have been featured in a few different colleges and universities, including the University of Washington. And apart from my business in website design, development, and maintenance, I run the W3 Newbie and Drew Ryan YouTube channels in addition to the W3 Newbie website. And with that introduction to the course, stick around for the next video where we'll go over all of the course project details in addition to the bonuses. In this lesson, we'll cover the course project details, the bonuses, and all of the files included in the main download. So the first folder where it says HTML email project, this is the blank HTML file that we'll work off of when we develop our HTML email template. And then the project IMGBB links file that you see here includes all of the links for the hosted images we'll use inside of our project template. 
Next, included inside of the Project Progress Files folder, you'll find a progress file for each lesson of the course where we'll be developing our email template. That way you can check your work or start fresh from any lesson of the course where we're coding our template. Then inside of the third folder from the main course download will be an HTML email template boilerplate, the contents of which are all explained while we're developing our email template. This way you can use the boilerplate to start from scratch once you're ready to develop your own designs. In folder number four, this will be the completed design that we'll start developing in a few lessons from now. And by default, our template design will be dark mode friendly, but so you can easily view the dark and light mode versions, I've included the dark mode version and a version with the dark mode CSS commented out. Then the fifth and last folder of the main download will include all of the template bonuses, the signature bonus, and the images with the icons. So the first folder will include all of the bonus templates with hosted images which are uploaded to the web. Then the image folder will include local images and icons which we'll go over, followed by a document with all of the links to the hosted images. Then the last folder includes all of the template designs with placeholder images, making it really easy for you to customize the templates with your own images. Now let's take a few minutes to get an in-depth look at all of the content inside of the folders and files that you see here with the bonuses. So the first template project.html is the project we'll develop inside of the course and every design here will be dark mode friendly. At the end of the course in the bonuses video that's specific to the bonuses, we'll look at the dark mode and light mode versions. And you can also download the 82 email client test results for each one of these designs. But for now, except for the email signature that you see here, we'll look at the light mode versions of the templates. So moving on after the signature in snippet.html, there will be a video in HTML email example. Then we have the first bonus template layout in template1.html, followed by template2.html, which is the second layout. Then template3, which I'll add the dark mode version here for. Template4, which features a GIF background image similar to our course project. Template5, which is a blog styled layout. Then template6 with pricing tables and a row styled footer. Then template number seven is the apparel e-commerce clothing company template. Template number eight is the modern black and white design featuring a number of different column layouts and the pricing tables. Then last but not least is my favorite template I've developed so far, which is the insight template at template number nine. Now let's take a look at what's included inside of the image folder or IMG here in the course bonuses. So this will be all of the images that were used to build the course project as well as the bonus templates with each one of the folders here representing one of the templates. Then we also have the icons folder including all of the icon sets used in the bonus templates, the course project, and the email signature. And included in the course curriculum PDF will be an additional resource for free icons. Next, in the imgbbimages.txt file, this will be all of the images from the img folder, but they're uploaded to the internet, so you can link directly to the URLs included in that file. And as previously explained, the placeholder image templates and signature will include placeholder images to make it really easy for you to customize the template designs with your own images. And lastly, inside of the course files will be the course curriculum PDF, which I'll reference throughout the course with links and resources to pages outside of the course. I'll also mention that throughout the course, there will be a few lesson specific downloads, which we'll cover in those videos. So now that we've covered all of the files inside of the main course download, let's get an in-depth look at the dark mode, responsive, friendly template that we'll be developing in the course. First, we'll go over the full width version of the template in dark and light mode, and then we'll check out the mobile version as we size it down to check out the responsiveness. So starting from the top of the template, we have the social media icon section with the border surrounding it, then the logo underneath that, followed by the GIF background image section with the text and the button on top of it. Then underneath that, we have the two column section with the image, text, and buttons. Then we have the quote section with the image on the left and the quote on the right, which will transform on the mobile version of the template, followed by the three column section with the images, text, and buttons underneath those. 
Then the logo section at the bottom, which is dark mode friendly, as you can see. And lastly, we have the footer section with the logo, the text, and the links, including the phone number, email, and unsubscribe link. So with that, let's scroll back up towards the top of the template and see how the template will transform on mobile devices using our responsive table layout and media queries. So our template will have two breakpoints at 600 pixels, where you see the breakpoint here, and you'll notice that the two column sections will increase in size, particularly the images. Once we get underneath 600 pixels in width, the image inside of the quote section will also increase at 600 pixels and the text will go from being aligned left to being aligned centered underneath the image and will also be changing the spacing around that section on mobile. Then for the three column section, at the first breakpoint of 600 pixels, we'll have the third column drop down underneath the first two with an increased size and width. Then underneath 400 pixels, the first two columns will join the third with the increased image size and width, as you can see compared to the full width version in size. And the four column logo section above the footer will go from the four columns into the two column layout with two different rows. Then at the very bottom, since the footer was just one column originally, that will stay the same just with a decreased width of the template overall. And with that, that concludes an in-depth look at our course template project.